my crafty friends. I'm going to be showing you a different way that we can use mica powder. In my video, Five Ways to Color Resin, uh, we used mica powder, but we just stirred it directly into the resin. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use it a different way. So buckle your seat belts. Let's get crafting. So I have four different molds here because we're going to do a variety of colors and we're going to do a little combination so I can show you exactly how it works and what you can expect whenever you're using your mica powder to color your projects. So we need our molds, of course, and these are candy molds, which are silicone molds, so you can use them for resin as well. And then I have a couple paint brushes that uh, we're just gonna dip right into the powder and put right on our molds. And then of course, I've got this uh, variety of different colors here. And stay to the end so you can see what I do with some of these molds in different projects. Starting off with, this one is the Scarlet. And I'm going to open it away from the mold because the powder does fly a little bit sometimes. So you don't want it accidentally getting over into the mold where you don't want it to be in the areas you don't want it to be. So we just dip the brush right in and put the powder on the inside of the mold. And we're just brushing it on but we're also pushing it and making sure it gets in all the, the crevices that are in there. We want the whole thing, the whole area to be covered with the powder. But we don't want any loose powder. See how there's just some loose powder in there? Well, we can just blow that out, just like that. And make sure you don't do it over your other molds because you don't want it getting in there. So we'll finish this one off. All right, and I also want a couple of these over here because when it comes to the mica powder, when we pour the resin in, we're going to use different colors of resin. Once we get all of these colored, we're going to pour our resin and we're going to pour it into the mold. But I'm going to show you what happens when we use different colors mixed in with the resin. Because different colored backgrounds are going to have different effects on the powders, depending on what color you use. So that's why I'm going to do several different options. So we're just kind of experimenting here to see what color does what with different colors. You can bend the mold too to make sure you're getting the powder down in, in all the crevices there and covering all the surface. We have all our molds colored in with all of our different colors. We used a deep purple, a bright yellow, a medium blue, a red, a light blue, a darker pink, a green, and an orange. And we use three of each color. And for each color, we're gonna pour a clear, a white, and a black resin so that you can see how the mica powder that we brushed on reacts to the different backgrounds. So that way it can give you an idea of what you want to do for your projects and what will work best for what you're doing. So let's get the resin poured. Now I separated it into three different cups because we're going to do one clear, one white, and one black. So I'm just going to take the mica powder, scoop out some white, stir that up, and then I'm going to do the same with the black. So for each color, we're going to pour a clear, a white, and a black.
now we're gonna use our heat gun, which I'll put a link in the description. This is a newer one that I just got and it's actually got two settings. It's got a high and a low and I'm really enjoying this. So I'm gonna blast those bubbles now. gonna move these to a level surface and let them dry for 24 hours and don't forget to stay till the end to see the different crafts that we make out of these. These have dried now so we can do the big reveal and a couple of these did get little bubbles in them but it'll be okay. So let's start off with the big roses here. So this was the one we did with the clear background. See how it's translucent in the back and this is how the red comes out with the black background and the white background. This one almost looks like a dried flower, it's kind of cool. So now the reveal of the purple and the green. All right, so you got the extra off there. You can just use scissors or pull it off. But look how pretty the purple and the green show through with that black background. The overall results of our experiment here so what I'm seeing is that for the darker colors like the blues and the purples and greens, if you use the black background, it really shows them very beautiful. But with the lighter colors like the reds, the orange and the yellow, it tends to turn it kind of a dried color. But with the white, if you use the white background on the reds, the pink, the orange, and the yellow, it turns out really bright, very pretty. And then all of the ones that we just used to clear on, they do come out more translucent, except for this one. This blue one came out really cool, very pretty. Right, in just a minute, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip on these clear ones. And if you've enjoyed this video and really learned something from it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel a lot. And stay tuned after this because I'm gonna show you some projects that I make out of these. So if you've used this method of brushing on the mica powder and you used the clear resin as your background, but you want your colors to show through a little bit darker. Uh, one thing I found you can do, I have these acrylic paint pens and you can take the paint pens and actually paint the back of your resin piece to get the colors to show through darker. So I picked the same colors I used for the powder and then we're just gonna paint the back here. go see it brightens it up makes it not translucent brings out the colors more mm -hmm. 